morning. Welcome to this week's edition of New York Now. I'm Dan Clark. We are now four weeks into this year's legislative session, and one topic continues to dominate the conversation in Albany. That's crime, and more specifically, bail reform. We've had that law for two years now, and it requires judges to release people without bail on most lower-level and nonviolent charges. Supporters of the law point to a double standard in the criminal justice system, one that allows people with money to be released, but leaves those without behind bars. And since the law took effect, crime has gone up in New York, and opponents of the law have tried to link those two things, saying bail reform has caused the rise in crime and should therefore either be tweaked or scrapped altogether. But we don't really know if that's true or if we're just riding the national crime wave. There is some data out there, but there's been no nonpartisan analysis to see if it's cause or just coincidence. So for now, it's a lot of politics. And Governor Kathy Hochul said this week that's not going to change her position. If reforms are needed based on data that is still being gathered, I'm willing to have those conversations. So I don't feel just because people, for political reasons, like the individuals that you're quoting here today, want me to give an answer. That's not how I operate. I don't cave to pressure. I do what's right based on all the facts that come before me. And until then, Hochul didn't have a lot to say on this, saying she'd leave it up to the legislature. But that came to a head this week when lawmakers said they weren't going to budge. Daryl Camp is here with more. Daryl. That's right, Dan. Leaders from both the state Senate and the state assembly said this week that they had no plans to change bail reform. Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty, who has made criminal justice a top priority in the past few years, said the law was being used as a scapegoat for the rising crime. Part of my frustration is anything bad that happens, it's got to be bail reform's fault. And I just think it's unfortunate to link the, the rise in, in gun violence, you know, solely on bail. There have been proposals that would keep bail reform the same, but give judges the option to hold someone in jail if they think that they're a threat to public safety. But on the other side of the Capitol, Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins shot down that idea, saying it would be a step back to before bail reform. We cannot pretend that there has not been judges' discretion and that that discretion uh, has led uh, in some cases, in many cases, nationally, not just here, to a um, disparity of who gets held, who doesn't get held. That might not sit well with judges in criminal court. During a budget hearing at the state capitol this week, Chief Administrative Judge Lawrence Marks was asked if he thought that judges would like more discretion on the bench. Here is what he said. Judges who handle criminal cases um, would, would favor having more discretion. Now, having said that, um, are they able to carry out their duties and their functions under the, um, the current um, uh, bail reform legislation? Yes, absolutely. So it doesn't look like changes are coming to the law anytime soon. But that doesn't mean the door is closed. We will take a much deeper look into the issue of bail reform and violent crime as a whole in New York on next week's edition of New York Now. Thanks, Daryl. Looking forward to it.